Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short introduction to how to use Google Expeditions as a teacher. Now, on the left-hand side here, this will be our teacher screen, and on the right-hand side, this will be our student screen. Now, the first thing you need to know about using Google Expeditions in your classroom is that to use the guide mode, which we're going to use right now, you and your students have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Once that's established, go as a teacher and click the guide button. And then select the VR experience you want to use. I'll use Mount Everest here. And now if you look at the top of my screen, we'll see that I don't have any students following along yet. So over here on the right hand side on the student screen, the student will click join and should see the teacher's name. Provided they're all in the same Wi-Fi network, they'll see your name. They click join and we'll see this message, hold on, your guide is getting ready. When the guide presses start, the screen changes and now the student is into the same imagery that the teacher is using. Now as a teacher, I'll see that I have a student who has joined me. And now as a teacher on the left hand side, we'll see I have some questions that I can ask. I can also use some of these highlighted places to direct the class. So I might tap on wind horses and we'll see that that's now moved me to looking at those wind horses or wind flags. And the student on the left hand side sees an arrow which directs them which way to turn or which way to look. And now they're looking at the same thing that I'm looking at. I also know this because you'll see on the teacher screen that there is a little face. And that's representative of the student looking at the same scene that I'm on. Now obviously if I had 25 students I should have 25 little faces all looking right here at this same scene, provided they're following along correctly. Now, as the teacher, again, I have these questions that I can ask them. But if I hit the pause button, we'll see that the student screen is also paused so that I can tell my class, okay, put down your VR viewers or put down your iPad, and I want you to think about these questions I'm going to ask you right now. When you're ready to resume, just hit the play button one more time and your students are now free to explore the scene again. Now again, here as the teacher, I can jump to any part of it. So we look at the western shoulder and now students are directed to also look up to that same spot. When I'm done as the teacher, I can simply exit the tour in the upper left corner. I will leave the expedition and the students are now back to waiting for a guide. So that's a short overview of how to use Google Expeditions as a teacher. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.